Hello Cancer, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a fun little mini reading here for you guys to take a look at who is thinking of you at this point in time. General reading as always, it will not resonate with every single person. Please do take from it what makes sense for you and release the rest. If you're interested in your own reading, that information is down below in the description box. And of course, I'll include a link to the decks and creators that you do see here today. Cross watchers are always welcome. So Cancer, let's begin. We're going to go ahead and grab some letters that could be a part of your person's name, whoever is thinking of you. If you're single, unattached, these letters could represent a future new love that comes in later on. So let's go ahead and grab some letters here. We're starting off with D. DR. Could be a Daryl for some of you guys. DRL. We have a K. Let's grab one more. And then we have an H. Somebody could also be a doctor. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab some more letters from this bottom row. Now, these cards right here, we have some wild cards in here that could be any letter that you need it to be. All right. So, Cancer. We've got X. We have a U, W, we have two H's coming through here. Okay, maybe someone's got a couple H's in their names, or we might have a masculine who has an H name and a feminine who has an H name. We have J, a doctor, and a DJ. <laughs> what a combo, huh? All right, and then we've got... C, and let's grab one more letter. We have a B. All right, so any letters there that could play a role in the person that's thinking of you. And maybe you already know who this person is. All right, so let's go ahead and grab some signs. I'm going to pull from the Lost in Time Oracle deck by Calico Moon. We'll go ahead and grab six signs for the collective here. Could be a Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. We have Scorpio, so a fellow water sign there. We have Aries, fire. Virgo, earth. Gemini, air. So you've got all the elements represented here. Another air sign, Aquarius. Let's grab one more. And then we've got another fire sign, Sagittarius, right there. All right, so those are some potential signs for your person, or again, my singles, some potential signs for a new love. All right, so let me set these guys aside. Let's go ahead and grab some court cards that could give you further information as to who is thinking of you. I'm going to pull from my modern day Sears Tarot and Oracle. Tarot with a twist. If you're unfamiliar with this deck, this is one of my self-created ones, and it does contain new Oracle as well as new court cards. In addition to all of the usual tarot messages. So I've separated all of the court cards. Let's go ahead and see who is thinking of you. So we'll grab six from here. We've got the Queen of Pentacles representing Divine Feminine, Earth Energy, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Okay, let's grab a few more. We've got the Queen of Cups. So we've got two cards representing the Divine Feminine here. That of course is representing your own water energy. Cancer, or you might be focused on a fellow water sign, another Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. In addition to what's already here, we've got the Duke of Earth, representing Divine Masculine. Again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Let's grab three more. We've got the Empress here. Okay, so the Empress, of course, representing Divine Feminine Energy, representing Taurus specifically. Let's grab two more. We've got the King of Swords representing Divine Masculine, Air. All right, so Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We've already got air signs represented through this batch. And let's grab one more card. And then we've got the Baroness of Earth. So we've got quite a bit of Earth representation here, Cancer. Maybe you already know that, or you're focused heavily on 
an earth sign, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, but you know, we've got other signs represented here. So let's talk about these court cards. So the Baroness of Earth, of course, one of the new court cards in this deck, and Divine Feminine, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This is someone who's very kind, a kind person, a good individual, very supportive. Family is everything to this feminine. And the Queen of Pentacles is known to be very generous, very nurturing, successful person, a working parent for some of you. The Queen of Pentacles is known to be very down-to-earth and motherly. So this could actually represent someone who already has children or they're just very nurturing in how they interact with people. The Queen of Cups is someone who's very attractive, very mature, easily wounded though. Okay, so that could represent you in this equation, perhaps, if you relate to that. Emotionally stable, intuitive. Okay, that's a part of the energy of the Queen of Cups. And then we've got the Duke of Earth representing someone who could be an entrepreneur. Very attractive, very handsome, great sense of humor. They're already established in their career. Could be an entrepreneur. And then we've got the Empress here again representing a possibility for motherhood. So my feminine's tuning in. This could be you. This could be representing you but if it could also represent the person of course that is thinking of you and then we've got the king of swords mental clarity structure routine very rational minded very intelligent a man of authority okay a father figure so we've got perhaps families here we've got children or plans for the future to have a family together all right so this is giving you an indication of who is thinking of you cancer all right so now that we know or have an idea of who is thinking of you let's go ahead and tap into their heart space their head space i'm going to pull from the pining rose crush edition by calico moon so what are they thinking when it comes to you now that we know who is thinking of you or at least an idea of who could potentially be thinking of you let's see what they're actually thinking for cancer that maybe you've broken their heart okay you hurt them their heart is broken part of the reason why they might be hurting is because maybe you're taken this could also be reversed okay it could be that they broke your heart because they're taken Someone's unavailable here. Maybe that's why they're thinking of you because they can't be with you, but they could be attracted to you. Let's see what else. We've got someone here who's scared of losing their independence. So what I'm kind of getting from some for some of you is cancer. If you're taken. And you know that this person's interested in you. Depending, of course, on whether you're happy in that existing partnership or not. If you're not, there's still a part of you, perhaps, that's afraid to break free. To be with this other person. Wanting to see where that goes. Or just afraid to be alone or make the wrong decision. Somebody could also have a cat here or just have a pet that they're very close to. What else for cancer? You could be dealing with an extrovert here or that is how they see you. We've got silent feelings unknown. So you guys are not talking. They're thinking about you, but there's not a whole lot of conversation going on here because of this someone's not available but look at this next card let's talk so eventually even though you guys aren't talking right now eventually someone's going to open up lines of communication here and maybe if it is you again that's unavailable cancer it could be you that reaches out to this person 
to get the conversation going, to let them know perhaps that you're no longer taken, that you're no longer with someone else. You've had a change in status. And again, if that's reversed for your situation, then of course, take it that way. And, you know, again, you guys might be silent. There might not be a whole lot of communication here, but bottom of the deck, okay, I'm aware of your feelings for me. So even though you guys are not talking, you're perhaps both aware that there are feelings there between the two of you. All right, so let's go ahead and grab one final message. I went ahead and I separated the angel cards from this deck. So let's see what the angel advice is here, Cancer, to wrap it up. For this connection what's the advice the angel of mercy life has brought you down to your knees the universe shows you mercy the love you've been searching for yearning for has eluded you thus far i'm here to let you know that it's time to rise to get back up claim your ascension within your own life to help you take that first step towards a brighter future that's interesting okay so take this only if it makes sense but what I kind of get for some of you is, yeah, you might be taken. You might be in another relationship. There's clearly someone here who's thinking of you that's not with you. And if you're not happy in your existing partnership, it could be this angel of mercy who helps you claim your ascension to get out of a, that particular relationship where you're not fulfilled and happy to help you create a brighter future with the right partner, with the right love. That's just what I'm getting for that. Okay, so that's where I'm going to leave this one, Cancer. I do hope whatever part of this made sense for you helps you out. And if you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below. That's it for now, guys, and I'll see you next time.